Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help improve your mind, body, and spirit. So let's see who the Holy Spirit would like to plant a seed for at this time. Which king or queen, zodiac or element does the Holy Spirit want to utilize? Aries. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, those who have joined this platform, I truly appreciate you. Let's see what the messages are surrounding Aries, fire sign energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very thankful for all of the insight, guidance, and wisdom that you've provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what are the messages now at this time from you through me, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like for us to know? Please and thank you. Messages. Aries, fire sign, energy, Holy Spirit. One more shuffle, y'all. Let's see. What do we need to know here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Fehu, cattle wealth energy. This is a room, okay? So there may be an Aries emperor energy who is sitting in a lot of abundance and prosperity. He got a lot of cattle. He may have a lot of cars, okay? He got a lot of stock. What else, Holy Spirit? Medusa energy turn you to stone, Aquarius star energy, faith and loss. So something may be halted in this person's ability to be prosperous and abundant, whatever they were doing to generate income, it may be it may have been halted. They've taken some sort of loss here and I feel like they're trying to figure out how they can get things back going in their life, okay? Hmm. What else here, Holy Spirit? They don't compare to you. Hmm. Look, she said, Just let me know. There's no way that I can hold back. So there's an emperor energy who who then who's taking a loss right now, and they're reminiscing about the. Per I swear, just keep hitting the table. It's different masculines. I don't know what the hell going on, but they waking up. You hear me? They waking up, but a lot of them is waking up because whoever they got in these karmic contracts with. That shit kicking their ass. They losing things. They're facing all kind of woes. I'm telling you, all kind of shit. These men are going through because they wanted to fuck with these past life karmics so hard. And there's a divine masculine and Aries emperor energy right now who's taking a major loss behind a past life karmic that he got back in a contract with and he realizing that he fucked up and that's just what it is he fucked up he chose the wrong person that person got his ass fucked up in the game and now he gonna have to figure out how to recoup what he's lost and that shit has woke him up okay woke him up about you Woke him up about himself. Woke him woke him up about life in general. And he over it. He's over it. Because why do I have to take a loss to be with her? If I'm having to take a loss, a continued repetitive loss to be with this person, this is not my person. Y'all have got to get up out of that struggle love mentality. 
It do not have to be that fucking hard. If it's that hard with somebody, that ain't your somebody. That's what the universe is trying to tell you. People be out here suffering with folks because they think that struggle love is some sort of testament to the bond and the validity of the commitment. How much shit you can go through with a person signifies how much they love you and how much you love them. Hell no, it don't. It signifies that you stupid as fuck. That's what it's signifying. Especially if this person is showing you that they ain't trying to build nothing with you. Prophecy. Because see, this man has a prophecy over his life. That's why he had a past life karmic. Because that past life karmic was supposed to contract with him in a way that he wouldn't fulfill his prophecy. And that's that's starting to happen. So this masculine is trying to recoup his divinity, recoup his authority, recoup his control over his life. And he's moving with no hesitation now. Okay, because his ass then woke up. That person he laying up with is why his ass is losing things. And that's just what it is. Somebody mad. Oh, I bet she is mad. Look, I bet she is mad. Because they was married to a lot of these individuals. And motherfuckers don't like to hear that because they think because they married, they must be the divine feminine. No, boo. Just because he married you don't mean that you was the divine feminine now. And a lot of them are seeing that. Because they getting dropped by these same men who committed to them on paper. Committed to them in a court of law. Before a judge or a priest or a pastor. And they realizing that that shit don't hold the weight that they thought it did. So this Aries Emperor Divine Masculine may have divorced or is divorcing his karmic. We have Africa out here. He could be African or from Africa, Afri of African descent. You could be, because that's falling right up under they don't compare to you. Now, if this man went and got him... I almost said an Easter bunny child. <laughs> if this man went out here and got him a snow bunny or something, and now she taking his, either she taking his damn money. I'm telling y'all what I pick it up on. Either she taking his money or she just spit all his damn money. Now he want 808. I'm telling you, he, he having financial problems and he divorcing her ass now. Ugh. time to retain legal representation. And he thinking about that African queen that he left to be by herself. South America. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. It's really giving colorism. It's really giving that he wanted to go get him. Like then what them what them dudes was called that was going all going to South America and going to Brazil and Dominican Republic, the passport bros. They ain't want no regular American black women. They wanted to go to these other countries and get what they deem to be exotic. But y'all do know that originally, historically. You better look in the National Geographic. The exotic individuals were from Africa, are from Africa. That's who was considered exotic, okay? Shit then got muddled in recent years for sure. But he giving passport bro energy, okay? Like he wanted to go get him what he thought was more aesthetically pleasing, I'm telling you, than whoever you are. And he married this person and not his ass catching hell with him. Because, see, you was the true exotic. Okay. 
you were the unicorn energy. And that's why he's saying they don't compare to you. Because he realizing those aesthetics don't mean shit. We have your parents are karmics. I'm telling you, whoever this Aries emperor is, this man is one of them who felt like I got the money, I got the success. Now I just need to go get me one of those aesthetically acceptable looking women to society to have on my arm. And it's something like that type of mentality or mindset may have been placed in this person's head that he can't get with no dark skinned black woman. He got to go get him a light skin or somebody who looked like they mixed with something. Yes, conservative. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you now. So he chose somebody like that over you. And this probably didn't trigger somebody, but it is what it is. It's out here. It is what it is. Because your color do not make you better. 1111. Y'all have got to release that mindset. That's that Willie Lynch theory that has been embedded in African Americans for centuries now. It's literally a book. If you want to understand why you need to let go of this light skin privilege, lighter is better mentality, go look up the Willie Lynch laws, the Willie Lynch papers. The man literally put on a whole conference, a weekend conference in the South where all these plantation owners went to go hear him speak. And they literally went to a conference to learn how to control their slaves psychologically, first and foremost. And he taught them how to pit the dark skinned slave against the light skinned slave. But he also made sure they understood that even if they ever showed favoritism over the light skinned slave, 1212, you still are going to have to show the light skinned slave at some point that they're not on your level, 1221. It was always a glass ceiling for the lighter colored, octroon, quadroon, half breed slave. They wanted them to think they were better than the dark skinned slave because that kept them at odds. That kept them from unifying and revolting, okay? But they were never ever allowed to hit but a certain level when it came to respect, when it came to punishment, when it came to living conditions, I'm telling you, shit wasn't that much better for a lot of them because they was the ones who was getting down raped continuously by their slave masters because of how they looked at times. You better wake up and realize both of them, the dark skinned ones and the, the lighter skinned ones. Now I can I can teach a history class, but see this Aries is getting a history lesson. He he's starting to understand some things about how he was taught, and that that might not be the right way. He definitely is getting grounded, and now he wants you to give him another chance. This is gonna be an oracle reading, child. What else do we need to know here, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What else, honey? I'm telling y'all, y'all better wake up. You better wake up. Because see, that, that whole theory, Willie Lynch theory, uh, you know, a light-skinned privilege, that shit dying out. I don't know if y'all realize that. I think a few of y'all have, but that shit dying out. 1414. They ain't upholding that anymore. They grouping y'all ass right over here with these, with us. Okay, so, you know, just be mindful about that, thinking that you got some sort of privily, pretty privilege because you like. A house is not a home because he, he dropping her ass. That 1441, that pretty privilege ain't ain't panning out with this one and it don't pan out with a lot of them. With a lot of them.
should this divine energy that I'm picking up on in my collective take this jerk back? No, because he a whole jerk. That's what I'm getting. Universal law. What he put out, that's what his ass getting back. He thought this other person was so much better than you because of how they look. Let his ass sit over there and suffer with that. Because that, that person he chose over you was a whole rat. That's how I feel about that thing. But you know what? Whoever you are, you're at peace either way. You don't care. You're not sitting up nowhere pressed or worried about this emperor energy and who he chose to marry over you and what he may be going through in life. Like, that's none of your concern. Okay? But, you know, he facing some problems now. Uncle Sam... It's time to retain legal representation, divorce, and something else came out here too about his current plight in life. This woman may even be trying to get revenge on him in the courtroom. See, that's what a lot of them do too. Take all they damn Fehu cattle and wealth. 1616. Them same ones that they thought was better than you in a core energy. And you and this man have a, had or may still have a divine connection and divine purpose. But he's lived in this mindset for a long time. He's carried this mindset for a long time. And it's a shame because with you, that cornucopia would have continued to flourish year after year. Okay? Okay. That, that abundance, that harvest that he, excuse me, that cattle, that wealth that he's trying to hold on to in the courtroom now, he wouldn't even have to be worried about all of that if he would have got with his African queen child. I'm telling you, if he would have got with his African unicorn energy, I'm telling you, because it ain't going like he planned with this other person. And South America fell right up under past life. Whoever this is, he didn't got caught up in a past life with this same type of bullshit before. And he was supposed to do better this time around. And his ass then got caught up again. And now he want to chill with you. So what are you going to do, unicorn energy? What should she do? Holy Spirit, clarify. We going to close. It's a trick of shaitan, child. I wouldn't either. I'm telling you, that's why jerk hit the table. Because this man was a jerk to think that because of your color that you were not the divine feminine. This a whole divine masculine energy. 1808, who has fallen from grace because he chose someone who looked aesthetically pleasing to the world instead of his divine feminine. 1818. Child. She just said, it's all bullshit. And this song that's playing right now, she is talking about, it's called Mary Gold by Addie Oasis. They are talking about not, she says, not light enough not smart enough that they say that's what you are but fuck what they talking about it's all bullshit now i'm telling y'all that's what's going on here it was something about colorism here and now all he want is your love and light he don't give a damn about that color conflict that was embedded in him i'm sure by his parents because it's out here that he should be conservative when it comes to the type of woman that he chooses based upon her looks. But see, the Holy Spirit has stepped in this situation because this man needed to wake up. There may be a possibility that you and him can reconnect if he truly gets in alignment. But it's going to take a lot to change that mentality. Thankful. So be thankful that 
you didn't become a victim of this person's limiting beliefs, their conservative beliefs. Because can you imagine being with somebody whose family don't think that you're good enough because you ain't light skinned? Or because you're dark skinned? Like, come on. Who want to be in a situation like that? No matter how much money or status or power or whatever, because it ain't about that at the end of the day, 2020. And whoever you are, you got a clear vision of that. So be thankful that you were not put in a position where your self-esteem could have gotten ruined because of these people's karmic beliefs. And I'm telling you, this how he feel now. This how he feel now. But he need to change his mind about some other things first too. Because I'm telling you, that mentality is still embedded in him. That shit, he even woke up and he realized that that's not the best mentality to have. But it's still been embedded in him. And it takes a lot of effort to release those convictions that we've held on to for our entire lives. This is somebody who was raised to think that. Help is on its way, 2121. Clarify this help is on its way. Oh, he feel foolish. He's trying to evolve. Okay. He want to recruit you ASAP. So maybe he is trying to get right. Because whoever you are, he know you ain't finna be letting him fucking play you. On no stupid shit like that. So if he wants to get with his divine feminine, his unicorn energy, he's going to have to definitely exhibit some pivotal changes and maybe that is what he's trying to do now he's sacrificing this limiting mindset because kissing an empress breaks the spell and i'm telling you something by money here i'm telling you that he didn't woke up and realized that if he would have just got with you he would have had all the wealth in the world so you know be mindful about that as well because that is what i'm picking up i'm telling you he ain't, he ain't there yet. He ain't there yet now. He got some work to do, but he wants you to heal him. Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else for this Oracle reading? We gonna close. Who's going to save your soul now? See, that's his energy because he thought this other woman that he married over you was going to save his soul. And she then cleaned out his damn accounts. So just be mindful. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.